Oh, it's about to go down. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's Posh. Welcome back. And today we're doing another handbag battle. We are going to be comparing my Prada Re-Edition 2005 bag compared to my beautiful Sparkle Glitter Queen Prada Re-Edition 2000. I make videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, I have another fun bag battle comparison video for you. I always love doing these videos and you guys seem to appreciate it because obviously I have no self-control and I always get both of things, but some of you out there who actually adult the right and proper way probably want to decide which bag is right for you. So that's what this video is for. So guys, I have recently added this beautiful bag to my collection. This is my Prada Re-Edition 2000, but this is in the crystal. So I know this is not the nylon version. However, it is a similar version to the nylon version. So you have the nylon version. So I figure I can compare these two so you can kind of get an idea what the nylon version of the 2000 would probably be in comparison to this version right here. So this version here costs around $1,800. So it does this one. However, the nylon version of the Prada 2000 is right around $1,000. I believe I think it's $980 for that particular piece. So I wanted to give you a comparison to see if you would want to get the shoulder bag version or you would like to get the crossbody version right here. So let's get started. Let's start first with the Prada Re-Edition, the 2000. Again, this is the crystal version, but it is definitely the same size and very similar to what that nylon version would be. This is the original type of bag that was around back in the early 2000s. The difference is it has this little cochette here that says Prada Re-Edition 2000 on it. That's one of the differences is on this particular bag, but the size and everything is similar, comes in amazing colors. You can find the vintage version of this particular bag in the nylon. However, it's very, very close to what the new bag price is because of how popular it's gotten. So I have found some for like $600, $700. However, the new version is just around $1,000. You might just want to go for the new. They come in so many beautiful colors. I really love the yellows and the pinks and the blues. I'm actually thinking about, I know, maybe if I can find a great price one, adding another like pink one to my collection in the nylon. The Prada nylon is absolutely gorgeous and very easy to clean and to wipe off. So I definitely recommend that bag. This bag is super comfortable, lightweight. You can fit it easily in the crook of your arm, as well as a shoulder bag. It does sit kind of high. So you, some people do this like Prada pose right here but super comfortable to where you fit all the necessities, everything you need in this bag. Next, let's go to the Prada 2005. So I ended up choosing when I was looking between the two with this bag first, because I really loved the versatility of this bag. At the time when I bought this bag, it was really hard to find. It wasn't available on the Prada website when I was doing it, and they didn't have as many colors as they do now. When I was first doing this, looking for this bag. They had it in the beige kind of tan color. They had it in a black color, this navy color, and a red color, I believe. So when I was looking at it, I was looking into getting it maybe in the black or the red color. They didn't have it available, but they had it in this navy color on the website. When they first launched on the website, this was what was available. What drew me to the bag is I love the fact that it had this really beautiful strap with the prod on it, but then it also had this pouch in it, which is perfect, which I put in right now to put AirPods in there perfectly. It just zips up. I love how it attaches here. And this is one of my bags that I love to use when I'm traveling, when I'm on vacation. This is the bag I usually take with me because I have these because I'm always, when we're traveling, I love to have that so I can listen to my crime podcast. I love that it was a crossbody bag, but I love this fun feature with this strap here that you can still wear it as a shoulder bag. So I felt like when I was buying this bag, it was two bags in one, if that makes sense. And all of these are detachable. So if you didn't want this hanging down, you could detach it. I just don't, I don't ever see myself wearing it as a clutch to have like no strap with it, but I love those options. This bag at the time when I purchased it was right around $1,200 
1200 to th maybe $1,300 with tax because again, this is right when it first came out and then it started to get harder to find. But this one, they had just listed on the website and I just went for it because this was what was available and they were not listing them on the website at the time. Do I regret this color? Maybe a little bit because I think I would have liked having it in the black more to wear with things because sometimes navy is a little bit harder to style so i think i would have liked it in the black i have thought about maybe getting the leather version of this bag in the black and maybe selling this and switching it out however i still love the style of the bag maybe this color wasn't the best to get but now the price of these bags i think are just under a little under two thousand dollars so huge price increase in the past two years panorama has definitely done that where bag prices have skyrocketed into comparison to what they used to be but let me show you this bag on me. I'm getting ready to do a workout after this. Here is crossbody, and I just think it is super cute, chic. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's fun, athletic, very easy, lightweight. The nylon, again, is so easy to like clean off. It fits all the necessities that you need. So you can have the chain in front like this. It looks edgy, or you can just detach the chain and just have it. I think it looks good either way. Now let's look at it as a shoulder bag. So you have the chain, looks great in the crook of your arm. And again, it fits perfectly as a shoulder bag. And I'll compare it with this one as a shoulder bag. Again, these bags are basically the same exact size here. When it comes even to the drop length, this one fits a little bit higher than this one does. So that is really beautiful as well. And here they are compared to side bus side right here. Next, let's put some items in the bag and see what they can hold. Here's the bag I'm currently rocking. So I've downsized a little bit. Get the necessities out. Gotta grab my little pouch here. So first thing I like to do is start with the biggest item. So this is my mini pochette right in here. Fits perfectly. We have our clay, our zip case. And then we have our keys and all of those items fit perfectly in the bag. It zips up and with the nylon, it'll open up better. This is the crystal version. So it is a little bit more structured than the nylon version, but definitely fits everything you need in here. Now let's put it in the other bag. Again, let's start with the biggest item. Fits in perfectly. We have wallets, clay, and our keys and there you go fits the same exact amount that this does open up very nicely definitely it has a little bit more of a weight to it than the other one but that's also because we have the strap and again i have my airpods right in here with the added version of this but again look how absolutely beautiful fits the same exact material now this one is a little bit of an older bag so i've had this bag almost three years now so I do notice that there is like some wear, but the only wear I have really is to the zipper. The outline of all these nylon bags here is a leather. I don't really have any scuffs or anything to the corners. I have gotten some marks on this, but I was able to clean it off because it's the nylon. So the only real wear, and it's not even that much, I notice is right here to like this particular part. Now let's get to my verdict and comparing these two bags. And I'm comparing them based on if this was the nylon version, which is a little bit more affordable, right around the thousand dollar price point. And then this one's right around the $1,800 price point. So that's how I am doing my comparison with these two bags. So for me, it comes down to the way you like to wear your bags. How do you wear your bags? Are you a crossbody person? Or are you a shoulder bag person? Because if you're just a shoulder bag person, a top handle crook of the arm person, this is the one that would win hands down. For me, I really love the look of this particular about it in the crystal form better, but I'm just comparing this as if this was the nylon purple version and not the crystal bag version. Because if I was comparing as the crystal bag version compared to this one, this is my favorite. However, if it was just a nylon version, this would be the bag for me that wins because I love the versatility of the bag. I love the options and for me, that is, even though this is a more expensive price point, I think you'd be able to find these. If you find these, they have a little bit of dirt on them, a little bit of wear. You can get them around $1,200, closer to the $1,000 price point. I have seen some, so I'll put some options for you. And again, if there is dirt on it, you should be able to clean it up with maybe a little bit of dish soap and stuff like that. If it's one of the lighter colors, don't let that deter you because the nylon is very, very durable. Even like there might be some marks to the corners and some scuffs, but that's really not that noticeable on the bag 
don't let that deter you from getting this but i just really love this version best in comparison to the two just because i feel like you have so much versatility and it becomes a whole new bag like having this as a crossbody bag it's a whole different vibe than just having this as a shoulder bag this looks more like dressed up having this chain and just having this with it but then when you have the chain dangling right here with this strap here it's a totally cool hip fun vibe and that's what i like i like versatility with bags bags that I have options where I can wear them different ways, different styles. And again, these come in amazing colors. I really recommend Prada. I know there is versions of this that I have that Louis Vuitton has come up with, but their versions are over $3,000. They're crazy. And I really love Prada, even though it has gone up in price, the fact that they still have some beautiful, amazing bags that are in a more affordable, I know I'm doing Air Bunnies, because I know it's crazy because it isn't a leather bag, but they do have leather versions, which are over $2,000. Something I'm thinking about doing, maybe selling this bag and then using that money and upgrading to a leather version, something I'm thinking of. But if you are thinking about the nylon and you're nervous about the wear and tear, the versatility, all this stuff, you need not be because they're absolutely gorgeous and amazing. Okay guys, that is everything. Let me know which bag do you think? Are you someone that loves the crossbody versatility? Are you someone that just likes the cheaper version and a little bit of a function. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.